Hey YouTube Opinionator, review I bring you guys a video on Air Blue Sharing. It's by Eric Day and it's in the Big Boss Repo for $4.99. Now basically what it is, it's a Bluetooth utility and it allows you to send files via Bluetooth. Send and receive files via Bluetooth. Or you can, it also uses Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna just scroll down and you can see it has it lists out a number of features that it has here: zero configuration, native Bluetooth pairing. You don't have to repair the devices. High speed up to 1.5 megabytes of transmission. That's via Bluetooth. It also automatically switches between um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So if you're sending a file via two iOS devices and the both of them are on the same network is, and the wireless is on, it's gonna send the file via wireless rather than Bluetooth. If it doesn't have wireless, it's just gonna send it via Bluetooth. There's a ton of stuff here. You can go ahead and read it. You can also send files from your Mac. Basically anything that has Bluetooth sharing, you can send or receive files from. Now that I've already spoke, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it for you guys. So I have my iPhone 4S here on the right and I have a Nokia, I think it's an E63 on the left and I'm gonna go ahead and send files to and from each of them. So let me go ahead and send a file from the iPhone 4S first so you guys can see sending and then I'm gonna show you receiving. So I'm gonna send via Bluetooth and I'm, I'm gonna search for devices, pull the refresh this Nokia, I'm guessing is this one right here, is the only Nokia, but I want to let the name pop up because that's not the name of it. It's a Lash, something like that. There you go, so I'm just going to tap on it, and it has to pair. So that's the code, just hit pair, and as you can see, it came up on that side, just like old Bluetooth. This is ancient, you guys should know how to pair. So now it's going to ask me to receive, just hit yes. It's sending, as soon as it's done, I'm going to have beep or something like that. Do you know those old Nokia? I probably already got it, I'm not sure. So let me go ahead and check inside messages, see if it's there. Oh, now, now it's come true. So you just saw, uh, I just got it there and let me pull it up. So there you see the photo right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send something back. Doesn't matter if I save it or not. I'm gonna go ahead and send something back. So let me go look for a song and I'm gonna send a song back to my device. So I found a song I wanna send from on the Nokia. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit options here and then send it. And on look on this side, now we're receiving, pay attention. So I have to enable the Bluetooth on this side and I'm. you don't have to deal with your regular Bluetooth. You don't have to deal with regular Bluetooth for your device. You're gonna deal with air blue sharing. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna activate it. I set up an activation method, so I'm gonna swipe left and it should activate. So now air blue sharing is activate. That's how you receive. It's not gonna pick it up if it's not activated. So now I'm gonna go and send via Bluetooth. And I'm gonna pick my iPhone for us. And then I'm just gonna accept it. Just give it a chance to send it. Now it's come, now it's asking me if I want to open it in iFile or Dropbox. That's the only downfall, you can't open it like in your iPod or anything like that. But I'm just going to open it in iFile. And I can go ahead and use, play it in an audio player. So you see I played it in an audio player, it's copyright free, but I'm not going through all of that, just mute it. But yeah, that's basically how you send and you receive. Now if I sent a photo... If I send a photo from this device, let me go ahead and send a photo very, very quickly. So I want to send this photo. It's the same process, just make sure that it is enabled. I'm going to go ahead and send it. And this, this time it should save it inside my Photos app. So this should save it inside my Photos app. So I'm just going to go accept it. And it should save inside my Photos app. So let me just go check my photos. And there you go, the same photo, whatever that is, something on my girl's old, old phone. This is an old phone, whatever that is. So yeah, guys, now there's a tab inside settings. Let me go inside settings. You scroll down until you see, it's going to install AirBlue and AirBlue sharing. You really only have to deal with AirBlue sharing. And if, if it doesn't save the photos inside your photos app, just go ahead and turn this on. And here's where you set your activation method. So don't forget to set your activation method or your activator method. You can go ahead and here if you're not if you're having problem connecting with the devices, just go in here and enable this. 
I'm not too sure what this is for. I just leave it off because it says turn it off when you're finished. I don't need it, so I just leave it off. So if you have any problem connecting, just enable that, and that should help you out. But that's basically it, guys. You can send notes, photos, uh, songs, send, receive songs. I couldn't send any songs. I could only receive them. So your notes, if you want to go ahead and you send your notes, you can go ahead and send your notes via Bluetooth, photos, all that good stuff. It chooses it automatically chooses between Wi-Fi or Bluetooth so if you have two iOS devices on the same Wi-Fi network it's gonna send it via Wi-Fi if not it's gonna send it via Bluetooth I already tested it out and it actually does that for you but that's basically it guys this one is called Air Blue Sharing it's in the Big Boss repo for $4.99 it's a matter of preference if you want to get it or not with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day